When we're filming in the blue, we're generally fishing for sailfish, blackfin tuna, or dolphin. So our, our tackle we choose is 30. We've started using a lot of braid, myself personally. We still need to use fluorocarbon leaders, so we had to find a way to get the leader to the uh, braid. And what I've come up with, I didn't invent it. I found it actually on uh, Saltwater Sportsman, the magazine. Uh, it was called an Aussie Quickie. First, we're just gonna have a nice bimmy twist in our 30 pound braid. And then, unlike the Yucatan where you go through the loop and up and back, you never go in the loop. All we're gonna do is take the, the mono, and you wanna keep a rod holder nearby because you wanna keep tension on this. We're just gonna take the mono up the braid on the outside 13 times. I don't know why 13. I didn't invent the knot either. All right, now we've got 13 times on the outside. We're just gonna bring it back down through the loop where my finger's been holding it open. Then we're gonna slowly pull it down a little bit, get it all together. Then we're gonna spit on it. And this one you gotta go after. But you'll feel it, you'll feel it burn when it's done right. Oh, you can feel the heat from the, it just fused itself. Now you have a beautiful knot. It's aerodynamic, it's clean as a whistle and it will not break. And another beautiful thing, you trim it as close as you want. I'm telling you, a lot of times, fluorocarbon, if you're not careful when you tie a knot, will slide. So you, we tend to leave a little tag in. Again, with this, you don't need to. We've got a beautiful knot here. It's almost invisible. I've just gone from 30 to 30. It will not break, it will not pull, it will not slide. It'll stay on there until you need to actually change your, your braid out or your leader gets too long.